Hi everyone. In this screencast, I wanted to show you how I created this Meet the Theorists drag and drop interaction. So how it works is I have my theorists at the bottom of the slide here, and I have three picture frames each containing a question. Now when I drag one of my theorists and drop them into a picture frame, the answer to that question will appear. So for this per this lady, who am I? She's Ruth Colvin Clark. Then if I drag her into what am I known for, I can find out what she's known for. And finally, if I want to learn more about her, I can drop there and I can access some more information about her. And then I can do the same thing for the two gentlemen, find out who they are and what they're known for and, and where to go for more information. So let's take a look at how I put that together. The interaction's all built on one slide. And for a drag and drop interaction, you need a couple of things. One is you need some drag items, which is our pictures of our theorists. So a drag item is the object that you can move around the slide. Then another thing you need in a drag and drop interaction is a drop target. So for me, the drop targets, I have three of them, one for each question. And that'll mean that when I set it up, that I can drag a picture of my theorist and I can drop them onto those particular drop targets. Now in this particular interaction I have three theorists and three picture frames and the info that's displayed to answer those questions are shown on a layer. So in total I have nine layers altogether. So three who am I layers, three what am I known for layers and three want to learn more layers. Because I've got a lot going on on this slide, it's, it was important that I named the objects appropriately. So all of my theorists I've named in the timeline, and my drop targets I've named in the timeline, calling them the, the name of the question. And then all my layers, I've identified which theorist uh, belongs to which particular question, so that I can see what's happening. So if we look at the triggers now, because the last thing you'd need once you have it all set up is a trigger to make it all work. So if I look at this trigger at the top, my action for all of these things is going to be show layer and then it's a matter of just putting in the information about which layer and when which person is dropped where. So in this case it's I want to show the who am I layer for Ruth Colvin Clark and the when is going to be when object dropped on. Now in Storyline that means that when one object is dropped on another on the particular slide. For the next part of the trigger now I need to specify which object is going to be dragged and what is it going to be dropped on. So the object that's going to be dragged is the picture of Clark and what's it going to be dropped on? Because I want to show the who am I layer I want to drop it on the who am I drop target and then say OK. Then I just repeat that process for the other two layers, the what am I known for layer, when she's dropped on the what am I known for drop target, and the want to learn more layer, when she's dropped on the want to learn more drop target. So it's the same drag item but dropped on three different drop targets and that's going to show three different layers. Then I just need to repeat that process for the other two theorists. So they end up with three show layer triggers when their picture is dropped on each of the three drop targets. And then essentially my interaction is ready to go. Um, it looks like a lot of work but it's effectively the same trigger all the way through, just changing the drag item and the drop target and which layer you want to show. But it's a neat way of showing um, a lot of information and, and, and allowing the user to explore around the slide um, and, and find out about each of the theorists. Well, that's it for this screencast. Hopefully that was helpful and I'll see you next time.